So now that we got Sherry back, I need to know about your uh, ghost adventures and the creepy stuff because we just got out of Halloween, and mm-hmm. that's, that's we did a lot of uh, ghost talking episodes, just being silly. Uh, have you guys seen Have you guys seen the Tesla videos on YouTube where people turn on their Tesla cameras in the cemetery and it says that there's somebody in front of them and there's oh, nobody? Yeah. Else? Did you see that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, okay. that's yeah, that's pretty wild stuff. <laughs> and uh, the ghost boxes where they where they supposedly hear them speaking and so forth and uh, we do like to walk in cemeteries we always we do. do yeah and you know what Just it is for exercise it's, 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 it's good exercise yeah it's quiet <laughs> people are dying <laughs> people are dying to get in there <laughs> <laughs> but we also do videos in cemeteries with famous people around pittsburgh oh, that's right. yeah we did um the riddler which is what's his name frank frank gorshin frank gorshin yeah yeah we did that video and then um chili billy for um yeah, this is more like a Pittsburgh thing. If yeah, you grew up in the, in, the, yeah. in the 60s, 70s, maybe. Well, Chiller Theater, wasn't that nationwide? Uh, Chiller no? Theater, I think, was in the tri-state area. Oh, this, okay. This was, a, this was a program that came on after the news, uh, the late broadcast, about 1130. And this guy named Chili Billy, his name was uh, Bill Cordill. A nice, very nice guy. He was a Pittsburgh staple. And he would host a little thing with, you know, with a couple movies, you know, pretty spooky stuff. <laughs> and so we actually went to where he's... Uh, resting and uh, we did a little thing there uh tampa ring 13 here in pittsburgh the yeah. ibm is named after uh, tampa which is uh roy uh, sugden and uh, we went to his grave. yeah i think he might have been the first one he was the first one we did yeah and i always do a little bit of magic at their at their graves also and then the other um fred rogers oh fred rogers yeah from oh i loved him yeah yeah mr He's rogers mr. neighborhood mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's more people guys from pittsburgh it would surprise you if you if you search famous people from Pittsburgh on a major or a minor level. There's more people than you think. Uh, so we'd like to visit Andy Warhol's uh, gravesite sometime. He's not too far from us, you know. Andy Warhol, yeah. yes. And mm-hmm. so it, you know what? There's uh, quite a few people. It, it'll keep us busy for a while. <laughs> yeah, between the Chuck's corners <laughs> and magic shows. And yeah, so it'd be cool. It's awesome. But yeah, so we have a lot of fun and we do a lot of things together. You know. And, we took up golf a couple years ago, so we try to. We didn't really get too much into that this year. No, we but, couldn't. We yeah. were always so busy. Yeah, you know? yeah. and the weather. The was, weather. Yeah. yeah, Pittsburgh weather. If you don't rainy, know, a lot is now. raining right now. I mean, we have constant <laughs> well, rain here. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Crazy. Wow! So uh, you guys don't try to uh, ghost stories and all that stuff out there? Or are you just actually just sightseeing and taking things in when you're when you're going to all the cemetery stuff? Yeah, the only ghost kind of thing, the ghost tour that we did was down at Key West. Oh, Key West about a year that or two ago. That was really cool. Really yeah. neat. They did a really good job on a trolley type of bus type thing. They took us out and yeah, yeah, because there's some creepy things down there. Yeah. Go ahead and tell them. Yeah, Key West. I don't know <laughs> if you know it or not, but you might want to check this out. There's a haunted doll. It's, uh, he's supposed to be haunted. He's called Robert the Doll. And we he, did a video on him as well. It's yes, on YouTube. Yeah, so you know what? Go to YouTube, search, yeah, there's a lot search of... Sherry Caputo. It's all under her. It's, it's C H E R I. So yeah. you'll see these videos and the current magic videos that we filmed from up to about two or three years ago until present. Mm-hmm. But there was a doll called Robert the Doll. He was owned by Robert Eugene Otto in Key West. A uh, very prominent family, and so uh, people would swear. Isn't Robert? Yeah, exa- exactly. 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay. people would people would swear that this thing would poke out of the window, look around, run around, and so forth. So he's in the East Fort Metello Museum, where right near the airport. It's close to the little airport down there. And I do mean little, <laughs> <laughs> little airport. Yeah, <laughs> one, I, one terminal. Oh my goodness! I mean, like the running stri- uh, the run you have strip. To walk was, out to go up into the plane. Yeah, it's when I seen cool, where though. we're going to land, I was worried. I said, "Uh oh." <laughs> But uh, yeah, but if you check out uh, Robert the Doll, he's on display at this uh, museum. And so mm-hmm. we did a little video of him. He's on there as well. And then the, the ghost story, they were telling us about Von Kossel. Is oh, that say yeah. Name? Carl Von Kossel, also known uh, as Carl Tanzler. Tell him about that story. He was like a physician's assistant back in the 30s. And he fell in love with a Cuban-American woman down there. And TB was rampant at that time. So he was treating her for uh, tuberculosis. And uh, despite his valiant efforts, she still passed away. Mm. Lo and behold, he stole her body and he kept it for seven years. And so he went on trial. But surprisingly, 
uh, the judge was very sympathetic. It was, it was, it was, it was known as a love story. <laughs> so yeah, so that's done her also. Carl von Kossel, that's also known crazy. as Carl Kanzler. Creepy, <laughs> creepy. Yeah. Oh. But it was beautiful black plexiglass case that he put her in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, built by Inverti. <laughs> That's true. I mean, it was a love not, story. Yeah, <laughs> we do like unusual things too. Like um, we went to Coral Castle a year before mm. that down in Florida. It's in Homestead, Florida. I don't know if you've heard about it. Have you heard about Coral I don't Castle? Think so. I haven't. Oh. Go oh, tell him about this, it. This is so amazing, guys. He's it, turned me on to it because I never heard of it. And when I saw it, it was just amazing. But, I've been I've been wanting to go to Coral Castle since 1980. So that's how long I wanted to go. Back when I was a teenager, I used to watch In Search Of, hosted <laughs> by Leonard Nimoy. And uh, you know what? Uh, you guys are quite a bit younger than me. You're probably wondering, what? Leonard who? But he was he was Spock from <laughs> uh, the original Star Trek. Yeah. Star Trek. Oh, yeah, you know. Huh? But he hosted a weekly series called in search of it was unusual yeah, things unexplained cool. phenomenon one of them was coral castle this is in west homestead florida i believe and it was it's a, it's a castle that's built out of coral that this little latvian immigrant he was about 98 pounds soaking wet he dug this all up i'm talking 20 30 ton slabs and he built a castle uh, the front door is 20 tons. You can push it with your finger and it opens up. It's perfectly balanced. It's not I a castle for sale. Wait, we've seen that. I have? Yeah, because no one knows how he built it. They, Nobody. How, exactly. How could Nobody he have done knows. it? Because, yeah, and, and a 20 ton door you can push with a finger. Yeah. They exactly. said older kids. I saw something. It might have been that William Shatner unsolved, unexplained thing oh. that yeah. he does now. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. they said the neighbor kids try to climb the wall and he shoot them exactly. away. No, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you if you have a chance, uh, you know, you two should really check that out. But if you're anywhere near Miami, because it's about an hour west, uh, south. It's about south. an hour south of Miami. She she wanted to go to Miami a few years back in the worst way. Well, we I said, went to Coconut Grove. That was really nice. Yeah. yeah. So I told her, Sherry, I don't think we're far from. We went to Fountain Blue for. We went to Fountain for Blue. a spa day. You yeah. gotta love that, Natalie. Right. <laughs> oh my god, I would love it. <laughs> Wonderful. So, yeah. so I told her, check up, check up Coral Castle, see how far it is. So she's a great detective. She, yeah. oh my goodness. So she punched her little fingers, and she had it. It's an hour away from Miami. Got to rent a car, went over there. It was cool. But you have to check this. But it's place not a out. castle per se. Mm -hmm. Like there's no roof. Like it's mm -hmm. open. You walk in, and then there's these different, like a sundial that he made, um, all out of I guess coral, right? Yeah, of some sort. Yeah. And each one has a function, and it's um, also um, by the moon and the sun, and it, it's just oh, and then oh. This little guy, what's his name? Edward Leedscannon. Yeah, he was just a little guy. And they have a picture, uh, a cutout of him. He's about five, five, five foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> he healed himself of TB. Yeah. He wrapped what kind of coil? Electromagnets or something? Yeah, he, uh, would, juice him, he, was ju he would juice himself with electromagnetic uh, currents. And the sun. And it was just. It, it's a brilliant guy. There's a guy. lot of. It, wow. It's, the tour was really interesting yeah. on each piece of as you go around yeah. where he ate, where he took a bath. It was just yeah. amazing. Imagine the magic tricks he could have built, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he was electrifying. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Why did we go to Palm Springs to that unique house? I just remember yeah. his uh, his security system in Palm Springs. Where he had a sunken living room floor and he had like a hundred mm -hmm. rattlesnakes. So every Ew. day he would throw rattlesnakes into his living room. And then he'd leave. No one would break into his house. But when he got <laughs> home, he had to hook each. He had to find all hundred snakes and put them away mm. before he could roam in his house. But that wow. was like some, uh, he was like yeah, an I artist as well. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. That was what back was in two thousand eight. We're not as good at these memory uh, experts as you guys are. You <laughs> can't remember everybody's name and everything. But that was in Palm Springs. That was Palm that Springs. Was, I was like, imagine coming home. It's Palm mm. Springs. One hundred twenty outside. You came home to the grocery store. But you got to rattle up the snakes, wrangle yeah. up the snakes, mm. cover stuff off. I'm not yeah. a, you know what? I'm not a big snake fan. Maybe I'd get a couple of pit bulls and a piece of raw meat or, or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, more like, that's more like it. Yeah, it was a shock factor for sure. But that I mean, is, yeah. he in floor, man. I mean, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Check us out online at wesisley.com and patreon.com forward slash Wes underscore Isley. For behind the scenes videos, blooper videos, never before seen footage, discounts on merchandise, 
magic trick tutorials, and more. That's Wes Isley spelled W-E-S-I-S-E-L-I. -S -E